Hello dear friends, how are you today? I hope you are doing great and everything is okay. Uh, it's been a long time. So welcome on my YouTube channel, Topics is Fires and our topic for today is a bad word. So let's start for our topic today. I think the word not ought to be banished from our language because it's impossible to not to do something. You are always doing something, try telling a child not to do what he is doing. Compare that to telling the child what you want to him to do instead and notice the difference it makes. Adults function in precisely the same way. An action like a thought is energy in emotion. It's impossible to stop energy once it's in emotion. The only thing you can do is change it into something else. It's practically impossible to stop what you are doing and not to do something or not thinking something. All you can do is tower the energy and think about something else instead. So instead of asking somebody not to do something and thereby planting an unnecessary thought that he may never have advised, like the image of leaning back on a chair, tell him that what you want him to do instead, the chances of getting what you want will be much higher. It will also force you to express yourself more creatively and positively than you would otherwise have done. But it's tricky. Generally speaking, we need to get better at talking about things and ourselves in terms of what those things are and what they can become instead of talking about what things aren't and what they can't be. Things are what we say they are. Depending on what we say they are, we create different images, different suggestions within ourselves and within those around us. Remember Nicholson, I am not a crook, you can be an alcoholic who doesn't drink or you can be sober, you can try to not be sad or you can try to be happy. I recently spoke to someone who had been through a divorce six months earlier. He was still depressed, but much of his attitude to life changed when I got him to change his way of seeing things and to start thinking of himself. Which would you prefer? Not exercise. Try to avoid using the word not for a whole day and see how often you use it for convenience. It's a lot easier to tell somebody what you don't want than to explain what you do want. But if you make yourself do it, you will find you will become a lot more expressive and positive every time you don't use not. Thank you very much.